Hello and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I am your host, the Below Average Gamer, and today we are in Hello Miners. As you can see, it is a beautiful night sky. I'm going to turn off my little headlamp up here, my desk, because I can't see anything. Awesome. Yeah, this is my new shop. Uh, in case you didn't see it, I just uploaded a commercial earlier this week. Are you looking to upgrade your armor, weapons, or tools? Well, head on down to the uh, Urban Villagers. It'll be good. It's right there. Just go to Warp RC, make a right, look over there. It's the one with the weird you thing up on top and this is it this is urban villager I keep forgetting the name but yeah my thought was you know people the shops that I buy from most are ones that I can just see from outside and I was like I need to put my stuff on the outside because right now you can't really see it there's glass but whatever so I have some of my most popular shops right here on the outside don't know why the chests aren't popping up I think the uh whatever but yeah so here's uh here's my little shop I'm so excited so there's warp RC there's my shop there's warp RC there's my shop I'm right there I've always had a shop here but it's just a lot nicer now that uh, painting fits perfectly right there so I was really uh, really pumped for that but yeah really excited started my new job the other day well started it technically today started it the other day but they were like oh give us a couple days we'll get someone to train you and then they trained me today it was really cool really fun uh, you know what I really enjoyed it was the thing because it's a fun job I get to work from home I get to just you know basically I can't give a lot of information but basically it's for a program and they say you know Work as hard as you can to break this program, then tell us how you broke it. Then we will fix it so it doesn't break anymore. I'm a tester. It's cool. It's groovy. We're just running around RC right now. Yeah, oh, and for those of you who aren't aware, no, I'm not quitting. That was a joke. That was an April Fool's joke. Ha ha ha. I tricked you, you big dumb dingus. How dare you, first off. First off, just how dare you. Um, I just watched it today. It, the original, not the um, not the new one. It's not out yet, I don't think. But I watched it. And I can't see any of those chests. It's good. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's a really, really, really good movie. Oh my gosh, you're yawning. Oh no, oh it's horrible. Ugh. But yeah, just wandering around, enjoying what um, Hello Miners has to offer. Before I was waiting on stuff to come in, you know, I was waiting on uh, loans to come in and stuff from people. And we're just waiting on one more, but I, I, I really wanted to play. So April 9th, we're going to get the new trial mods. And I know last time I was talking about it, and I, I got work from people that I may have um, said incorrectly my opinions on the stuff. So basically, um, I had people like, they're not voting in trial mods. Um, stupid. They're not voting them in. It's going to be the, the mods are going to look at it, and admin staff are going to look at who people voted for and decide from there. And I feel like uh, if that's what people are getting from it, I may have not have made my case clear. I know that the, the trial mods aren't being voted and that's how they're getting in. I know that. I'm aware. My thought was the system's going to get... The system... Not he's going to... There's a, a chance the system could get messed up. And I kind of disagree with the way the voting thing. For example, people voting for their friends and saying like, Hey, this person will be cool. I like this person. This person gave me my first job. They should have one. It's my cousin, they should get a job, blah, 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 da, 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 whatever. What I meant by that when I said it was not that I think that those people are going to be instantaneously made into mods or whatever, but that I feel like if that's 90% of the people who are going on there saying, hey, you should make my friend a mod, it's going to kind of ruin the pool. For example, if I were to say, hey, everyone gets a marble, you pick what color the marble is, and we're gonna throw it in this bucket, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go through and decide which marbles are best. Okay, which color we're gonna do? And everyone's like, okay, cool. Now, say a red marble is. I'm getting really confused. Let me see if I can continue this. Let's say a red marble is a good player who deserves to be um, a mod or a staff member. A, a blue marble is someone who deserves to be a staff member. Okay, blue marble staff member. Okay, let's get that through. Okay, blue marble staff member. Red marble person who should not be a staff member now with the number of players in the server and the people who are putting that stuff in you know um see that bucket gets full of red marbles to where there's only a couple blue marbles here's my thought i'm not saying oh well they're just gonna pick whoever randomly no i'm saying the fact is that staff is gonna go through and look and if you have too many bad marbles too many red marbles in there then after a while it's like you know what what's even the point and the the good the good staff members, good would-be staff members, I should say, get skipped over. You know, the players who should have been staff members and who should have gotten voted, they kind of get skipped over because they're lumped in with everyone else, so it's like, well, let's just throw this whole thing away because it didn't work. 
The other thing that I noticed that kind of makes me kind of really upset is that when once they put this thing up of like people like, hey, vote for staff members, everyone on the server suddenly became a, a, a lawman, you know? I see players who have very clearly, and I'm not going to say names, you know who you are and everyone knows who I'm talking about, us different players. We've had players like this all the time, who it's like, as soon as they find out, like, oh, they might be picking trial mods, they suddenly become Mr. Hey, uh, let's try to play fair, guys. Someone gets on and they're like, I like boop, and I have a huge boop, and everyone should love me, you mother boopers. Hey, buddy, um, maybe you don't do that. Hey, pal, we try to keep the server, uh, we try to keep the server chat nice and clean. That's a rule that we have here, so I would appreciate if you would continue that. Whereas the day before the announcement, that same player would have been like, Haha, yeah man, you go, be a rebel, tell these guys who's boss. But once they find out that they might have the opportunity, might have the option to become a trial mod, they're suddenly on their best behavior. And I'll say that because I know that's how I was a long time ago, back in the Dizay, when I was like, man, I deserve to be a mod, I don't know why they're not picking me, I should be a mod, I, I know all the rules, I've been on the server, da 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 and eventually I just became cynical and I was like, hey, you know, whatever. Now, would I like to be a mod? I'll say that. Would I like to be a mod? Like I said, I spent a long time being like, I'm going to be the best player I can, that way I can be picked for mod. And I see players still doing that all the time, being like, oh, hey guys, like I said, hey guys, uh, let's not talk like that, let's, let's try to keep the chat nice and clean, that's how the server runs, guys. And I'm like, just, come on. If you see someone being a jerk, call them out on it, be like, hey, come on, man, that's not how we try to play the server. But we have so many players who are just like, once they find out, Oh, I might become a mod. I, they're, they're trying to pick mods. I, I'm going to be on my, my best behavior. And you know that the day after they find out they're not picked, they're like, This server sucks. You guys suck. I deserve to be a mod. I don't even know why this player got to be a mod. Da -da 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 -da. And I know you're saying, That's not me. I'm genuinely trying to help the server. I'm, I'm trying to be a good player. I know it's you, because that's how I was too. I'm not saying I'm not like that a little bit still. I'm not... So I'm, I'm saying, look at there it is, please suggest trial mods before 9th of April 2017, and there's the link. I'm saying, I if, if you want to be a mod, you should try to be a good player and uphold the rules 24-7, 365. Not just when they're doing voting. You know, like I said, if if, if they're if you're if you're faking it to, just so you can be a mod where you're like, I'm gonna show them that I'm upholding the rules. And I'm gonna prove myself. I have like seven days to prove myself. Then maybe you're not the best fit for mod. You know? And like I said, I'm giving these examples, but you all know players who are like that. So yeah, like I said, if you're one of those people who's like, hey, I'm gonna put on my best behavior just for this voting thing. Try to become friends with everyone. I'm gonna message people. I know it's happening. I'm gonna message people and say, hey, vote for me, please. Because I really want to be a mod. I deserve it. Don't you think I deserve it? Da 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 da. Those guys, um, storming, I'm gonna go to the nether. Probably not the best pick. And again, it's not up to me. Thank God. There are players who do deserve it. Players who just genuinely have, in their heart, in their mind, the idea for how the server should be run, and they do their best to keep that up. Even players who don't speak up very often, I think, would be good. Players who are just like, you know, they're just playing the game. And they want everyone to be able to play the game and have fun. These are all chests and making me really upset. Players who are just playing the game and trying to have fun, I think, and, try, and want to make sure that everyone else has a fair chance at playing the game and having fun, those are the people who deserve to be mods and deserve to be staff members. Players who put on their happy face and their Sunday best to play the game and be like, look at me, I, I'm be, oh my gosh, I'm acting like a mod already and I'm not even a mod. Isn't that crazy? It's almost like you guys should just make me a mod. That guy does not deserve to be a mod. Like that guy who's faking it, faking it until they make it. Fake, if you're faking it till you're making it, then you know you probably don't deserve to be the mod. I've gotten retail jobs time and time again. I've gotten cleanup jobs time and time again for um, by putting on my happy face because they don't care. However, the jobs that I actually had that I enjoyed and that I tried to do my best at and that I think that I did do my best at and that I saw myself exceeding at, exceeding expectations on were ones that people said that I wasn't trying for. Ones that people looked at me and said, you seem to know what's going on here. You seem to express the values every day. We want to hire you. And I see that as the big difference here. Is, you know, you have your, your ones who want to work in retail where it's like you really... You're putting on your happy face, your smiley face for the interview. But in reality, you couldn't care less. 
So just keep that in mind if you're watching this video. Don't be that player. I hate I hate seeing it because you can always tell. You can see right through them. So just saying, don't be that player. Everyone knows what your game is. So, yeah. I think that's all I have to say. I've just been running around doing errands today. I'm trying to get my wither skeletons to spawn so I can make a ton of them. But, yeah. Take that to heart if you're trying to become an admin or a staff member or a mod or whatever. Take that to heart and just be a good player all around. Don't just put on your, your happy face for the interview process. That's all I have to say. I'm really tired. Oh my gosh.